Okay guys, I am back and now that I have completed the applying of the mask, I'm going to share with you how it makes it very shiny. It is completely dry and I am going to peel this off so you guys can see me. It's going to be not a very easy thing. So I'm going to start somewhere here. And it is not painful, but some parts may be very sensitive that may uh, hurt. <laughs> I don't scream or yelp or anything, but it comes off. It's very thin. If you apply a thin layer, it comes off very thin. And it looks gross, so I'm going to just give you guys a disclaimer. It's just easy for me to take off. Um, sorry guys. I'm just gonna put the skin right here. Just like throw it away. Sounds gross, I'm sorry. So you're gonna have to continue to find spots to peel it off. It's just easy to come off. And you can see all the dirt and makeup that's left in your skin. It comes off, you can see it as you peel it off. And you look at it in the light, it's gonna show all that dirt that's left over on your face. And that's pretty good in my opinion. Okay. And I will share with you that um, dirt. If you guys are not easily grossed out about this type of thing, if you're easily grossed out, I suggest that you don't watch. <laughs> But it's nothing to be grossed out about. It's just the mask being peeled off of my skin for uh, skincare. And I am going to start changing up my regimen for my skin using other products that I thought may help go back to my oatmeal. What I was using, I hadn't been able to find it lately um, in the store. But I gotta get what I can afford, but I also want something that's gonna work and keep my, my skin on task. Talking about no like removing wrinkles or anything, and just saying that um keep it looking a little more fresher when I also have I've after I've applied makeup and taken it off. And I'm going to exfoliate my look using my toothbrush, which I saw. Andrea's Choice do that on her video. I think it was her Valentine's Get Ready Better video. I'm going to peel this off. Okay. I got some over here. Now, it says to also rinse your face in warm water, so do not forget to add warm water when you, after you've peeled off the remainder of the mask. It helps uh, cleanse your face, uh, make it more smoother, and also make it more softer as well. So, I'm going to have to pull this off here. Sometimes you'll have a little leftover. I usually have it leftover. I don't get it all. Uh, I go back and just rinse my face and I'll just remove the mask. And so far, I'm on a scale from 1 to 10. I gave this about an 8, um, in my opinion. Um, I just, right now, I used to do mask peels 
back then when I did one for Influencer. Um, I hadn't done one in quite some time, but now I'm starting to kind of get back on track. But I'm going to be very extra careful because I have sensitive skin to products I use. And I suggest that we all look and do a research before we go and, you know, add something on our skin and we don't know what's going to perk our skin out or cause us to have a reaction. Okay. So, yeah. But um, I'll also explain the contents in that pack, what's in that pack and do my review on it uh, probably tomorrow if I don't get <laughs> Now what I'm going to do now is just rinse my face off with some warm water. Just taking off any extra mask that I may have missed, but if what I missed, the water will remove. I'm just going to share with you the um, contents that come off my face. And um, yeah, this here is the mask. You can see all the dirt and makeup that was inside on my face. The mask peeled off. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and cleanse my face and I'll be right back. <laughs> 